Okay, YouTube, here we go, back. This time I've got a leaked jelly bean ROM for the Galaxy Note. This is from the Galaxy Note 2, so this should be pretty cool. I'll run through a tutorial how to install it on your device using Clockwork Mod Recovery. And then after that I'll uh, show you how to make or enable S Pen and the S Memo feature because that doesn't quite work with this leaked ROM. Right, so you're going to first of all go into reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery and then you're going to want to do a complete backup uh, but I've already done this so I'm just going to skip that step but I recommend you do it just in case something goes wrong not that it's uh, highly possible but it, it could happen so, so the first thing you need to do is delete all user data so let's just wait for this to do its thing once you've deleted all user data, you then need to go into your wipe cache partition. So we'll sort that out. Then go into advanced and then wipe your devic cache. Right, those are all done. Now we go into install zip from SD card and navigate to where you've got your kernel. Just, I mean, if, if you've got a safe kernel to wipe, then that's fine. But I'm going to flash Abyss Touch Wiz and then I'm going to install that. That's only because I've been running an um, Android open source ROM without Touch Wiz. Right, so that's done that. Now I need to go into reboot into recovery. This may take a few seconds, just bear with me here. Okay, so now I need to install it from SD card, navigate to where I've got my ROM, custom, semi ROM, and it's called jellybean.zip. Right, so I'm going to install this. This is going to take uh, quite a while. Um, probably won't take as quite as long on your device if you're coming from a TouchWiz based ROM but because I've come from an open source Sinem mod sort of hybrid ROM this is going to take a really long time for me and as well as once the ROM's installed booting up for the first time is going to take a, probably about six minutes right so I'm going to go through and do a little fast forward of this Okay, so that was basically a, a times 20 speed, just for your information, so you know how long it's probably going to take you. Right, let's go through and start this bad boy up. Okay, I'm just going to skip a couple of parts here. Okay, next. Um, next. You can see there's a little um, cursor when I put my note pen over little some buttons. Maybe that's the ear view. I'm not sure if that's going to work or not yet. I might have to do a review on this ROM other than just a quick little installation guide after this. So I'm just going to skip through all these things. Right, here we go. This is Jelly Bean. Let's get into phone. Right to Android 4.1.1. There we go. And Jelly Bean. So 
So the bass band is based on LS1. Right, this is Android 4.1.1. The build number is LS2. And that's the kernel version there. Right. As you can see, it looks pretty smooth. Um, yep. Let's go into S Note. Now, this is not going to work, um, but later on in the video, I will show you how to get it working because this is a, a beta version. Um, right, so S Memo, click the button on your S Pen and double tap. So S Note comes up, pops up like that which is based on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and you've got the scroll across buttons here right everything seems pretty smooth so far right now let's go in and do some more in-depth look at this Okay, so the camera is probably what most people are going to want to see work. There's a couple of nice little features that Samsung's got for their Note 2. So just click on settings. And go into... The scene mode. Shooting mode even. Right, so that's the sheer shot, the beauty shot cartoon panorama that's a share shot you can directly share what you've taken with another galaxy note which is a cool feature okay so how to put s note a working s note on your device download the files that i've got on my description and navigate to where you've saved them i've got them on my bluetooth so i'm going to go into multi and i'm going to copy these Yep, copy. Now go right back into your root directory, right back into a folder called data, and then at the top one called app. Now one of these files will be there and one of them won't. So when you paste them, it'll come up with an override, so just override the first one. The second one, it'll just copy automatically because you won't need to override it. Right, once you've copied those in there, it may take a, a couple of minutes because they're about 70, 80 megabytes. Once you've done that, you're then going to need to install it as well. So go back to where you've got them stored. Once again, my Bluetooth folder. And click on the first one. Replace the data, definitely install that. It may take a few seconds. Mini S Note, that's what the new one's called, and S Note, this is the premium sweet one. This may take a, a middle of, maybe, yeah, 30 seconds to a minute to install. Come on, come on. Right. Bingo. Done. Now let's go and see if the shortcut and the apps work. Click on that bad boy. And yes. Let's just go on and show what it looks like. Okay. So, there you have it. A leaked version of the Galaxy Note 2 Jelly Bean for your Note. Okay, so this is Kiwi Guy. Out.